Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to this three-part series where we're gonna be covering my daily cleaning routine. We're starting first with the bathroom. Check it out. Most days I start out cleaning right here in the bathroom. For us, it's absolutely necessary that I clean the bathroom every single day. For you, you might wanna clean like one bathroom per day if you have multiple bathrooms. Therefore, every bathroom is getting hit you know, once or twice a week. It totally depends on what kind of activity you have going on in your bathroom, if you have little boys, whatever. You decide what's best for you, but I know for us, we need the bathroom cleaned every single day. One of the most important things that I do, is because some days I do like skip one of these chores, but one thing I pretty much do every day is vacuum the floor. I don't know why, but our floor is disgusting in this bathroom. It's like, Hair is everywhere all the time. Sometimes I vacuum it multiple times per day, but it's super easy. It takes like 30 seconds and it's no big deal. So I always vacuum. I wipe down the sink, the counter, the toilet every single day. I clean the toilet bowl every other day and I switch out our hand towel every other day. And I also wipe down the mirrors as I see them. Other things in the bathroom is I kind of keep an eye on taking out the trash. And I like to do like one other activity um, to kind of restock the bathroom. I'm always looking like, do we need more toilet paper? Do we? Do I need more contacts? Um, do I need more of the stuff that I use to clean my mouth guard at night? Like I'm always kind of looking out for something I can do while my solution, which I get asked that all the time, hold on. So I get asked all the time, what does that mean while the solution sits? Because usually I will spray this, Branch Basics, and I will leave the link down below. I have um, a like, referral link for them. Um, this is Branch Basics. It's a concentrate that you mix with water and it works great. I use it for everything, the bathroom, the kitchen. I even use it for my laundry now, um, but I spray it and then it's supposed to sit for one to four minutes. So while it's sitting, I will do something else. Um, so that I'm not just like standing there or looking at my phone while it's sitting. And that's what I mean by while the solution sits. If you've seen me say that on Instagram, that is what I mean. So let's get to cleaning this bathroom. It needs a lot of work because I haven't cleaned it in a couple days since we've had guests. And so I'm probably gonna clean the whole floor today. Usually I just do like around the toilet, um, but I think I'm gonna do the whole floor today, wipe everything down really, really good and it's gonna feel so much better. The first thing I do in the bathroom is to vacuum the floor because you don't wanna be cleaning everything wet while there's hair everywhere. So I vacuum the floor. I also vacuum on top of the rug. And shake the rug out and vacuum underneath it. Today I'm gonna to be pulling out the laundry baskets underneath the sink. I also always remove the trash can and the um, like toilet brush and everything. And I vacuum around the toilet because I always clean the floor around the toilet because it gets gross. So once everything is vacuumed, that's when I will spray everything down. I'll spray down the sink and the counter and the toilet all over and the floor around the toilet. Uh, later, I'm gonna go back and clean all of the floor, but I'm gonna spray all of this and let it sit it for just a moment. See, today I need to make sure to replace the toilet paper so we have plenty. So I'm gonna grab that out of the closet because it's up really high and put some more back after I'm done cleaning. All right, so while that is sitting, the solution is sitting. I'm gonna wipe it off in just a second. I am over here assessing a few things that is gonna happen for the rest of my day. So one, I've got some towels here in the dryer because I dried them last night. And then two, I see that I have a full basket of clothes laundry. So I really like to do, uh, let me set that down, one load of laundry a day. Um, usually it's like 
every other day is clothes and, and then every other day is something else like bathroom towels, cleaning towels, kitchen towels, sheets, stuff like that. I don't really adhere to a certain day of the week anymore except on Sundays. I always wash my sheets on Sundays. Everything else is when I need to, as needed. When the laundry basket is full of clothes, I wash clothes. When I put the last hand towel out, I wash all of the towels. When I use the last cleaning towel, I make sure that the next day I wash all the cleaning towels. So it just has worked out really well for me that day that it's more that I have um, a certain like trigger point where it's like, all right, it's time to do the next thing. But that can be really easy to forget. So what I will do, okay, so I need to wash clothes today. That's gonna be my one load. I like to wash laundry in the evening um, so that I can leave. We have these front loaders and so I like to leave the door open overnight and I can't close this closet door if the washing machine door is open and that bothers me during the day. So I like to wash the laundry at night, leave it to open, leave it open to air dry overnight and then I can close it during the day. That just works better for us. So I'm about to close it up, but I don't wanna forget that I'm supposed to do clothes tonight. So this is what I do. I get my phone out. Sorry, I'm like standing here around all this bathroom stuff. I get my phone out and I think, okay, what do I have going on tonight? Tonight I have an event from six to 8 p.m. So it would be great if I start the laundry before that event, I can throw it in the dryer real quick while it's going on because it's a Zoom event, so it's pretty casual. And then if it's done at 8 p.m., I can fold it really quick and put it away. So that's my plan. So I wanna start the laundry at 5.45. So I get my phone out and I activate Siri. Remind me at 5.45 to start my clothes laundry. And then it comes up on here and at 5.45, it will remind me, I wanted to show you that. Hello, am I too close? There we go. So at 5.45, this will pop up on my phone and remind me to start my clothes laundry. I run and I put it in and I don't forget and this is working out so great for me. So I think while the solution is sitting, I'm going to go ahead and fold these towels and put them away and then we'll get back to cleaning the bathroom. Now we're back in the bathroom, ready to wipe everything down. What I like to do first is I will spray one of my yellow cloths and wipe off the different smudges on the mirror. There's always little smudges because these are medicine cabinets and so our hands are constantly touching them. But before I wipe down the sink or counter, I get the cloth just a little bit damp. It seems to make it a lot easier to wipe everything down. And I will use one cloth to wipe the whole sink area and then I go over over to the toilet and I wipe the grossest part of the toilet which is the floor and like all the stand in the area around it and then I will switch cloths before I move on to the other parts of the toilet that are not as dirty like the top of the toilet the handle the lid and all of that stuff these cloths are from Amazon they are they come in a tricolor pack I'll make sure to link them down below I love to use these way more than paper towels way more than anything disposable they clean so so well and these bathroom ones, I always make sure to keep them separate and I wash them on their own on the sanitized cycle in my washer. But the other colors, I like to use white actually just for my body and I wash them with our bathroom towels. And blue I use for the kitchen and I wash them with our kitchen towels. The toilet bowl is something I only clean every other day because I just don't think it needs to be cleaned quite as often, but I do like using bleach for that. And we use, <laughs> I get this question all the time. So we use these silicone toilet brushes. Looks like that. And I really like them, but the trick to it is that you need to dip it in water first 
or else you're not gonna be able to move it around. Hello. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to move it around because it will just like have too much resistance. Here's another little tip for you. So this, whatever this is, cleaning solution, the cleaner is supposed to sit for a little bit. So I just let it sit till somebody flushes the toilet next, but I like to let the brush like brush drip dry out. So I kind of rinse it off <laughs> in all that bleach water now. And I will just close the lid on it and let it stick out. Um, people ask me all the time, like, what is that sticking out of the toilet? It's just the toilet brush and it is just drying out. If you don't have kids or pets, you can also just like leave that part of the toilet open. It'll probably dry a little faster, but just in case I keep this part closed. Now this is just a once a week thing. I don't do this every single day, but because it's been a while and because we had friends over and the bathroom hadn't been cleaned a while, I am gonna clean the entire floor today. Super easy. I don't even have a mop because <laughs> It's such a small area that needs to be cleaned. So I just spray everything down again, let it sit for a minute or two, and then wipe it the whole floor with a damp cloth. Now, since we're done cleaning the bathroom, I'm going to put everything back in the bathroom. It's now all in order for the day. Okay, shoot, I forgot to share one other thing, which is this little trash can. So I mentioned that I have tasks that I'll do while the solution is sitting because I don't want to waste any time in the morning, which by the way, this only takes me about five to seven minutes, depending on what I have to do when I'm not cleaning the entire floor or filming things. So a lot of the tasks I like to do when I'm waiting for the solution to sit is again, refill stuff, or I will fold a little laundry, or I will take all the trash and the trash is very, very full. So we have this super cool trash can now that took about five months to get here, which is ridiculous. So it has like a liner inside of it and everything so that the bag stays down in it, which I love. So I'm about to pull this out. But what I wanted to show you is one of my tasks today needs to be taking out this huge thing of trash. So I'm gonna do that. There we go. There's a little liner. It's super cool. Oh, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me stop making so many noises. I'm going to take that out like right away, just straight down to the shoes. Anyway, I like to keep at the bottom those uh, clean trash bags so that it's super easy for me to empty the trash, get the next bag and fill it up right away. This is my tip for you. <laughs> what, well, the first tip is keep empty trash bags at the bottom of the trash can because it makes it so much easier. The rest of the trash bags are high up in a closet, which are harder to get to. I need to replace them actually. Um, but the other tip is before you walk away with your bag of trash, do not walk away until you put <laughs> the new trash bag into the trash can because you will forget and then you will feel very lazy about it and people will put trash into the bagless bin. Ask me how I know. This is my tip for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know if you also have a bathroom cleaning routine or any kind of daily cleaning routine, how you get it all sorted out. We'll have two more videos coming up in this series, so check back on my channel. They will be out soon. Bye. Nobody told me to say